But first, we visit a corner of Britain not normally associated with crime. This is Barrow in Furness, known as the gateway to the Lake District. Like many small towns, its streets are now watched by CCTV. Barrow's had the cameras now for two years, and we just can't imagine how we would manage to do our job without them now. Our CCTV operators have been with us since the start, and they're able to look at the situation, spot trouble brewing, and direct our patrols towards it and say, look, there's something going to happen here, let's get it stopped before it starts. The busiest time for the operators is the weekend, helping to tackle street violence. It's not a, a new problem, it's been going on for many years. And in fact, 20 years ago, Friday and Saturday night was regarded as a fighting night. And the most surprising thing from my own personal point of view is the number of females who are now being arrested for assault and threatening behaviour. It's escalated through the ceiling over the last few years. Here, a group of girls stand chatting outside a nightclub. But well, they're about to come under attack from a young rival. The police are on the scene instantly. The attacker was later convicted of assault and ordered to pay £200 compensation. Here, the operators have spotted two men fighting. The taller one in the white shirt seems to be the aggressor. And when the police arrive on the scene, they move to arrest him. But not everything is as it seems. We need to pay particular attention. Watch the right hand as a knife comes out here, gets thrown into the gutter. Even on first view, and that's difficult to see, but the CCTV operator picked up on that. In slow motion, the smaller man can clearly be seen slashing with the knife. He was later jailed for nine months. It's not just outside the pubs and clubs that the cameras are having an impact, but inside as well. Security cameras filmed these men in a hotel bar, helping themselves to drinks. The barman returns, and they order and pay for a half. But once his back is turned, they help themselves to another drink, and another, and another. The following morning, the duty manager viewed the tape, and the men were asked to settle their bill and leave. The cameras pick up 700 incidents every year, and are already having a major impact on deterring crime in Barrow. The use of CCTV has not only helped us detect it, but in two years has reduced the incidence of violence and disorder in the town centre by one third. Sometimes people only need to be protected from themselves. This man has had so much to drink that it takes him nearly three minutes just to get on his bike. When he eventually sets off, he dangerously weaves his way along the road. The police are informed, but initially have difficulty attracting his attention. He was later fined £25 for being drunk in charge of a bicycle.